Yes, so the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS, will make a decision on Wilfred Kuku Osei's GFA elections disqualification later today. Now, this comes after the um, Ghana Football Association's normalization committee sat on the case between them and the Tema Youth Bank ruler. The normalization committee was ordered by CAS to have a second look at um, Wilfred Osei's case before proceeding to hold the elections on Friday. The Court of Arbitration for Sport will then make a final decision on the legitimacy of Wilfred Osei to contest for the position of the GFA president. Wilfred Osei was disqualified from running for the top job after allegedly breaching Article 33, Clause 5 of the GFA regulations. Now, according to that article, 10% of a player's transfer fee must be paid to the association, which Wilfred Osei refused to do after selling Joseph Edu to KRC Gang. Now, despite the impasse between the um, GFA, NC, and Wilfred Osei, the original football association elections were held successfully and it con they all concluded last Friday. A presidential debate will be held later today between six of the candidates that are left for Friday's elections. Now, in a related development, the Ghana Football Association's Normalization Committee has responded to CAS uh, concerning their decision to disqualify and eventually, over um, to uh, eventually throw out Wilfred Kukwase's um, appeal. Now, CAS uh, last Friday wrote to the NC to respond to the uh, request from Wilfred Ose for an injunction on the FA elections. Now, Joy Sports can confirm that the response was sent yesterday, 12 hours before the CAS deadline. Meanwhile, Heart of Lions uh, director Randy Abbey, who is vying for a position on the new executive council, has shared his view on the GFA Wilfred Kukwase case. Palmer for over 10 years as one of the most hardworking people you can find. We're all not perfect. He's somebody I get on very well with. I mean, he's a, he's a great guy and all that. And I know how much he had put himself into this particular election. It's something that he had started working on for quite a long time. You know, he had invested his time, his emotions, his intellect, his finances into this particular thing. So to be hit with, with, with what was hit with at the time that it happened, um, was something that, that, that is really, really hard to take. Now, to the extent that he remains a football administrator, and for that matter, the owner of a club, you know, being disqualified on the basis of you not having the required integrity to lead the FA, it's a very, very serious blot, an indictment on his reputation and his future as a football administrator in the Republic of Ghana. And so I agree with every step that he believes he has to take, every step that is in conformity with the law, to find or to clear his name or to find some respite as far as this particular issue is concerned. Because you and I will not want to live the rest of our lives with this particular thing hanging, tag. yes, this tag hanging on us. Because people are probably just looking at this election. But you, you must look beyond this election. Is he going to lead the rest of his life as a football administrator with a tag of not having the requisite integrity to lead the association on his neck for the rest of his life? So I, I think that is an issue that we need to be less emotive about and to maybe put ourselves in a man's shoes. And all things being equal... Ghana captain or general captain of the Black Stars, Asamaja, might make his debut for his new Indian club. We'll keep our eyes and ears close to the taps and bring you all the details in our subsequent sports bulletins. Uh, this is how I end uh, this afternoon. You can check out myjournaline.com forward slash sports for more headlines. I tweet at the handle at Baba Tando. Same for Instagram. Done. I am done.